All right, hello and welcome to the postgrad year. Today we're going to be talking about the commonplace book. Yes, that's Binder. We are going to the ideas section of the contents page. Look at that. So if anyone was here last time or the time before that or the time before that, or maybe even the time before that, <laughs> they know we're talking about the ideas section. Oh yeah, before I turn the page, look how much there is. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely getting a lot of stuff in here. All right, come on. All right, here we go. If you would like to pause at any moment, you can do that. Although, sorry, that was a little bit too fast. I think it's a little too close. Didn't really do a good job, but uh, yeah, this is ideas even more. Eight. So the things on the left-hand side of the page, opinion, process, to do, opinion, videos, and to do. I'm um, pretty sure you can figure out those are the categories. They're not really categories. It's just, it's a very loose way of looking at things. So now we're going to go through opinion. Uh, making the channel is actually kind of unhealthy. At least, uh, sorry, trying to center it. At least probably will be for the first few years. The main thing is because I live in the U.S., I need to prove myself even though I spend a lot of time thinking and being happy without worrying about things. Some Americans get really angry if other Americans aren't stressed 24-7 because their identity is about grinding. There's literally no chill. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, making the channel is actually kind of unhealthy. Yeah, so <laughs> I think it might be a little healthy, actually. Um, instead of unhealthy, because it means I'm trying something that's, you know, something I'm very uncomfortable with. I don't like people seeing my face. Hello? <laughs> oh, it's a little weird. I don't really want to be the face of an operation, but, you know, we're making a book. So, it's kind of what I got to do. And that's just kind of how the internet works right now. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of hiding from the world for a while, and now I'm like, this is my face. <laughs> That's a little weird. It, it kind of feels like the opposite of what I was trying to do for like 10 years. I was trying to go to a place where nobody knew what I look like, or my name, or anything like that. I actually have anonymity for once. And now I'm kind of just like, forget anonymity for life. Which is a little risky. Because I can't really take it back if it works out. If it doesn't work out, then everybody I know that looked at the thing is going to be like, dang. You kind of just gave that up for nothing, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, because I live in the U.S., i got to prove myself. Yeah, so we always talk about our achievements, and it's like, yeah, man, I'm, like, getting promoted. I've got a good salary. I've got a good house. I've got, you know, some nice relationship things that are working out. It's like, that's cool. Uh, but if people don't talk about that, it's like, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? It's kind of like... Um, when somebody's grown up and somebody's like, what do you want to do when you grow up? And it's like, I don't know, man. I want to like be able to buy ice cream whenever I want. And I don't want it to be like the type that I specifically requested that I never receive again, you know? <laughs> it's not really like, I've decided I'm going to become a librarian or I'm going to go to the moon. Um... <laughs> Although being a librarian that only works with books kind of feels like going to the moon at this point because like, do librarians get to do that anymore? I feel like they gotta do everything else. Um, oh yeah, I spent a lot of time thinking and being happy without worrying about things. So I just kind of hang out with my cat and you know, I, I'd do stuff if I had to, but I never really got to chill out, you know, relax. Growing up, it was like, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. Every moment was regimented. It was just like, you're going to the bathroom? Not at this time. And it's like, during the day, during class, it's like, okay, we can sort of understand, that might be disruptive, but it's like, you know, if it's like six o'clock in the morning, it's just like, let the kid go to the bathroom, you know? <laughs> so what I've been just trying to do is be as much of a couch potato as possible, but because of school and all the other stuff, it's just like, it's kind of hard, you know? Like, even when I'm being bored, I gotta come up with a process. Um, kind of reminds me of the meme of, uh, a ballerina where it's like, you know, kids can do whatever. Nope, that's not really what it was, but if you push children to their breaking point, then they will be successful as adults or something like that. It was kind of messed up. Like, <laughs> you know, kids or adults can do whatever they did as kids or something. 
I don't know. Definitely wasting time right now. Happy five minutes. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go on to process. It should help... Wait, where is this? There we go. It should help you prioritize automatically. You probably won't have to think about it, which is actually funny because pretty much every other channel talks constantly about how intentional everything is. Yeah. I am throwing words on the page. What are they going to do? They're going to do something. That's what they've been doing this entire time. I don't know if you guys remember when this was just a contents page. Actually, there wasn't even a contents page for the first video. It was just an empty binder with a page on the front. Where's the thing? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hit the camera there. Sorry. All right. You just throw stuff in and eventually figure out what's garbage and don't throw that in. Throw that out. <laughs> I mean, preferably, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, you know, however that works in relation to the binder. You know, like, don't use as much of the garbage. Convert the garbage into something better. Maybe you can use all of the multi-word tags, actually, to uh, create a video description or a channel description, and then just feel the vibes of that, and then write something different, delete the old stuff. You could do that. Just saying. Information can be converted into something else, which is quite useful. Okay, here we go. Now we're on the to-do section. Actually look through my PKB sections for more types of things. So the PKB sections, basically I have a personal knowledge base on my computer, kind of like my own little database, and it's kind of like this. Imagine a commonplace book with 40,000 pages. Yeah, they're not full pages. Not all of them. I mean, some are full pages. The really funny thing is, all of this is only like two paragraphs on the computer. It doesn't take up that much space, but you know, I probably have like 40,000 pages or so. It's just kind of annoying to like look through them because I don't number them. So if you don't number them and you have backups of everything, it's kind of difficult to be like, I have exactly this much. I mean, I know that I have a specific, a specific number of megabytes since October of 2020 because that is when I got up to the most recent version of the newest version of my system. But what happened before? Because I started in 2015. I still have that stuff, it's just not backed up in every single way. So I don't know. Because information was recorded sometimes digitally, sometimes physically, and not always in the same way for either one. So it's kind of hard to quantify. Uh, so we were at, actually looked through my PKB sections for more types of things to talk about, like problem solving, can't find people to talk to, find people who would pay to talk to you, why would they pay to talk to you? Well, if they're learning your language, they will be hyped. If you want to talk, congrats, you win. So that sounds really silly, but if you speak English and you're like, oh, I'm sad, or I'm bored, or there's nobody to talk to, there are people who will pay to talk to someone who speaks American English, like everywhere. And you don't even have to ask for, for money. You can just talk for free. I mean, if you want to talk about like your political opinions and how your political opinions are you hate their country, they're probably not going to want to talk to you. That might, you know, just just spitballing here. Like, that might not be the best thing to talk about. But if you want to talk about um, really anything else, they'll be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> And they don't even necessarily need to be talking. I mean, obviously, you want to have it be more like 50-50 if possible, but, um, you yeah, know, everybody's a little different. Some people will just be learning how to listen. So they might be, <clears throat> they might actually request something more like 80-20. Uh, so if you really want to talk, you can just talk. And then there are other people who want it to be more like 20-80, you know? Like, they really want to talk. It's like, I practice learning this language, I want to talk in this language. Um, that can be a little frustrating, though, because they'll make a lot of little errors. And then you're kind of, like, working for free, so it's a little weird. But, you know, if all you want is somebody to talk to, easy. Like, don't fight everybody. Just mutual beneficial things. All right, we're on opinion, which is right up here. Uh, hype because we're approaching higher order thinking in the binder, rather than just being like, yeah, man, I like rice. 
So I think I kind of mentioned this last time or the time before that. Um, it is a little weird when I just write down ketchup. It's like, what? what? What does that have to do with anything? For me, it means something. For you, does that mean something? I think I explained it, but I don't know. That should be the allergies section, by the way. And I transferred that from health and safety, I think, where it was tomatoes. And then I was like, no, that belongs in food as allergies. I think so. <laughs> I mean, I might be wrong, but we'll see. Yeah, higher order thinking. So as I was mentioning in the video before this, if you have the baseline thought for something, just like, I need to do this, and you never write it down or never improve on it, it's just like, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. And it's like, that sounds very stressful. I mean, I'm stressed just thinking about it or hearing myself <laughs> say it out loud. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. And sometimes before you do it, you gotta write it down. So write down every step of the process uh, until you know exactly what you're gonna do and then just get it done. It's a lot easier than just being like, I need to take out the trash, I need to take out the trash. <laughs> I mean, you probably, you know, wanna take out the trash fairly regularly. Maybe you have a to-do list and you just write down, go outside every day. And then the first thing you do to go outside is you take out the trash, easy. Now you go outside and you take out the trash every day. Probably more like every other day because uh, you know, when somebody starts a thing, or if they're busy, they're not necessarily gonna get it done all the time. Um, I don't think that was a good example, but it's time to go on to the next page. Well, not the next page, but you know, the next thing. Uh, yeah, that's some hype. Where are we? Video. Uh, yeah, there we go. What goes on my desk? Oh, what goes on my desk? Yeah, so I have like a to-do list on my phone and stuff. Uh, tell people other things I use other than a complex book, like the PKB and phone and timer and water, etc. Yeah, so I kind of mentioned all those things except the water, and I assume you thought I had a phone because, well, I'm recording on my phone right now, so <laughs> that would be a little silly. I could make that a video if you want, but that's not really a high priority right now. So the last thing we had is to do. Ask people what it seems like I'm missing as a section that they want to see. Yeah, so that kind of feels like outsourcing my work to you, you know, like give me free labor. <laughs> that is kind of what I was mentioning earlier though, where it was like, um, if somebody's learning English, they might just want to talk to somebody who speaks American English. And if you're American, that's pretty darn easy. Um, unless of course you grew up like speaking Spanish or something. Um, you probably didn't grow up speaking like Zuni. <laughs> or something. Maybe you did. Um, meant to say Hopi, but Zuni works too. Um, but yeah, like, if you're an American, watching American education videos, you probably know at least a little bit of English. Um, but yeah, it's a little weird. It's like, if I ask you too many questions, are you doing your work for me? Especially because this is, you know, sort of formula where I just write stuff down kind of feels like it. Also the concept of just recreating information, which is how a commonplace book works, um, might get a little weird with copyright. I just, I feel like it'd be really weird if I got in trouble for copying my stuff from myself, from myself, from myself. But if I'm copying something from someone else, obviously, that'd be a problem. It's just weird, you know? <laughs> I feel like I'm recreating the information, I'm not just copying it, but we'll see. All right, well, thanks for watching, and hopefully next episode will be more cheerful. I think I said something like horribly traumatic in one of the last few videos, which is um, hilarious because for me, it's just kind of live, but somebody was probably like, you did what? You know? <laughs> it's kind of like when somebody's like, oh yeah, you remember like when you were a kid and um, you like didn't go in one room of the house because, <laughs> <laughs> or like some really weird thing because it's like yeah there was a there was a thing I mean I, I didn't have something like that I did have some other bad stuff um, there wasn't like a room that we were supposed to avoid I guess it was like don't go through somebody else's room but that's you know that's a pretty basic rule um, my computer monitor is turned off okay bye <laughs>